Hello and welcome to Python for Everybody. I'm Charles Severance and uh, and now in this little bit of lesson we're going to talk about some tuples and we're going to create a list of the most common words and find out how to sort a dictionary by the values instead of by the key. Um, we're going to use the clown.txt file and the intro.txt file and I'm going to start with uh, the code from exercise 9 that I just did uh, from chapter 9 it's not exactly one of the exercises, but it's very similar to them. And I'm going to make a copy, and I'm going to keep it in the same folder. I'm going to keep it in the EX09 folder and just call it EX10 because this uh, code is going to um, do much of the same stuff, and it's going to read these same files. And so I have got myself exercise 10. I, exercise 9 is still here. Exercise 10 is now what I'm editing, exercise 10. But I'm in the exercise 9 folder. Uh, so... In exercise 9, we look for the, the most common word, but we want to find the five most common words, which is going to require us to sort. So I'm going to get rid of that code, because it's not really how we're going to do it. There we manually looped through it and found the maximum. And so I'm going to just run this. Um, CD desktop Python for everybody EX09. And if I do an LS, you see that I've got EX09.py intro.txt. So I'll run Python 3 uh, EX. 10.py and run the clown data and we see that we see the dictionary and it's properly uh, making it in this code right here that doesn't change it reads the file reads all the lines goes through and splits it into words and then goes through the words and does the the idiom of using dictionary get to maintain the counters and we print it out at the very end so the new code we're going to write is down here okay so let's first few do, do a few things um, if I can say um, x is equal to uh, the dictionary dot items, and this gives us basically a list, print x. This gives us a list of the key value pairs. This prints out the dictionary, but if we do it this way and use items, it gives us the key value pairs. Okay, and so that's what we got, key value pairs. Now, we can sort this based on the value, because tuples can be compared, this can be compared with this, and because D is lower than R, then this one is lower, this whole, this ran tuple comes after the down tuple. So we can sort this whole thing. And I'll do this by just putting the word sorted here, and say, give me a sorted version of that. Now it's going to do it based on the order of the tuples. This is going to be more higher precedence than this. So if I, if I print it this way, run it again, you'll see that it's sorted. And now is after, and, car, it's in alphabetical order by key. And so we could actually print the first five up to, but not including five, by adding a list on the slice, a list slice here. And so that will show you only the first five, right? Except that that's not what we're trying to do. We really want to sort by this, okay? So, we have this mechanism that can take a list and sort it based on the tuple values. If we could create a list where it was one comma after instead of after comma one and make it the exact same thing, then we could actually then sort it and it would be fine. Okay? So let me show you a couple of ways, at least one way to do that. Okay? Get rid of this. We're going to hand construct a list and I'll um, just call it temp equals, give me a new list, temp equals new list, and then for k comma v in the dictionary dot items, and I'll just start by printing k comma v, so we see, and this is where it's really nice to do these with the clown code first and then only do the, your test on the bigger file later. And so it's pretty much the same thing. We are going through in key value order, which is dictionary order, which is not sorted at all. Okay. Now, instead of printing this out, we are going to, let me, let me do this in a couple of steps. Make a new tuple, and we will just call it newt, equals parenthesis v comma k. Okay, so this is, I'm saying make a new tuple. This is like a new tuple with two items in it, and I'm going to make the value for and the key. The, the key. Okay, so uh, then I'm going to say temp.append newt, new tuple. 
So I'm going to I'm going to end up with a list of tuples. Let me comment this one out, and I'm going to then when I'm done here, I'm going to print temp. So if I run clown.txt, you see what happens in temp. It's the it's still well. Let's print temp twice. I mean, it's not sorted. It's flipped. Let's print it. Oh, that's okay. We'll just that's the flipped one. Okay, so it's flipped, and all we did is we made it instead of car comma three, it's three comma car. But now we have a list. Okay, so now it's flipped, and now we can sort that. We can say temp equals sorted temp. So it says takes temp and sort it and give it back to me. And now I'm going to say print sorted comma temp. Okay, so here's the first print. When we flipped it, we've got two tent, but it's not sorted at all. But after we sorted it, it's sorted by tuple, and the lowest is one after. So, so you'll notice that one is the same as one, so it checked the second item in the tuple, so down comes before after. Fell becomes after down. Intro on alphabetical order, but now we get the twos. So the, all, the, all the ones sort there, and then the twos come here, but then within the twos, it sort in alphabetical order, because like a string, if, it, if the first character matches, then it looks to the second character. And then we see, oh, here we go, the threes, and then the one we actually wanted, the highest one, is the seven. And so one of the things we can do is we can say, uh, you'll notice that we want the highest one, not the lowest one. So we can just tell this um, with this parameter, reverse equals true. And we just say, hey, sorted, do this backwards. Do it from highest to lowest rather than lowest to highest. And now our sorted one says seven, the, etc. Okay? And so if we want the first five, we can say up to but not including five. So this is now the top five. So the sorted one is that's the top five. If there is, it's a tie, we're going to go in reverse alphabetical order, but let's not worry about that too much for now. So it, it makes a flipped list, then it sorts the flipped list. Now, if I just wanted to print it out nicer, I could loop through this new list. I could say for v comma k. Remember, this is a flipped list, so the sensible thing is what's coming out, I mean, coming out of this list, each tuple is value comma key in temp, and I'm only going to go up through, five, up through but not including five, so the first five, and so I'm pulling them back out as value key because that's what they are. They're value key, see value key, value key, value key, so V is going to go through these and K is going to go through these, and then I'm just going to print K comma V. So this is kind of my flipping backwards because I, I want to see them this way. And the is the most common one, car three. And so it's just going through this up to the fifth one and then printing them out. Okay? So let me comment this out. Let me comment that out. Let me just delete this. So we have a dictionary. Let me comment out the dictionary. We have a dictionary. We make a list and we make these reversed tuples where we have the value first and the key second. We're setting it up. So the sort's going to work. And then once it's sorted, we have to flip them back. So we, we flip them for sorting from key value to key value key for sorting. We do the sort, then we flip them back with key value and print them out. And it works fine. So let's try our big file, intro.txt, and there you go. Those are the five most common words in intro.txt. So you might ask yourself, why did we use tuples? We probably we could have really used lists for this, but tuples are more efficient than lists, and you notice that we weren't going to modify. We did modify the temp list. It's a list of tuples, but the tuples within the list, uh, we're not, we weren't going to modify. And so we tend not to uh, make lists if we can get away with using tuples. 
And so that's why we made this uh, was what this flipped tuple thing. Okay, so I uh, I hope that was useful to you. Uh, hope to see you on the net.